Hey, how's it going, everybody? A uh, quick update of the Bixby, the Michael Blast Outsider. Um, finally got my front suspension on. Took forever to show up. Um, once I got it, I had uh, issues with I couldn't get the crown race off of my old fork, so I ended up having to order that. Um, then once I got that on, I ended up seeing that the dropouts wouldn't accept the front hub motor um, so that was a little disappointing so I had to hand file all that out to get them to accept um, got all that on there then the nuts were too big to fit in the space provided um, so I had to sand the or actually like dremel the flanges off of them and then sand everything down so they would actually fit in the, the spot between the axle and the fork right there. Um, and then after that problem, got everything together, got it spinning really pretty good. I went to put the brakes on and their post mount and the original was, I think they call it side mount. Um, and so the brackets are different and so then I had to order a bracket because these are 180 millimeter and it it was set to accept 160 so I had to buy an adapter to go from 160 to 180 um, and then that solved that problem and then what else I got some beaten new tires they're um, the B I think V Moto Huntsman, V Moto Tire Huntsman, and they're a uh, hybrid motorcycle e bike tire, or tire, I can't talk, um, that is really heavy duty. Um, it's got some marking 8 proof or something like that. I don't know if that's like supposed to be a ply reference or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but they are super heavy. They don't fold over on themselves, they'll stand stand on their own unlike uh, most of these other e-bike tires that I've seen um, but they were like twice the price um, so super heavy V Moto Huntsman tires they've got a nice aggressive motorcycle-y look to them um, cool little blue markings on the side and they were really cool except for they the, I guess the next problem was it was hard to get them balanced um, I had to get them on and like bust the beat a couple times and uh, I found that got them aired on had to spin them around find the spots that weren't weren't as true and kind of break the bead and roll them to where I wanted them like physically and then pump up um, so that took a while, a while to uh, get everything seated to where they didn't didn't seem off balance. But uh, on the ride so far, really good. I had them real low pressure last night. Um, after I got them going, I ran up and down the street a couple times, uh, and I was running like 15 pounds of pressure. And I've taken it up to I've like almost doubled it right now. Um, these things say they can do. I think it was like 65 pounds, but I don't think the tubes inside them can. But uh, anyways, there's the update of the Bixby. Um, the next little thing I'm gonna do is I've got a 72 volt battery on the way that I'm gonna try to get under that gas tank. Um, so I imagine that'll be the next little fun project, maybe modifying the tank to get it under there and uh, then onto the seat. But uh, so far, the Bixby Michael Blast is a blast. Now front suspension and some kick-ass tires. So we're on the way to having a pretty badass bike in my opinion. And uh, thanks for checking it out. Any questions, just uh, hit me up and I'll uh, send you any links on crap that I, I got or uh, try to help you out if I can. Anyways, uh, thanks for uh, checking out the build.